What is going on guys, Vlad here with SolusPLC.com and today I wanted to bring you a quick tutorial on how you can download the necessary tools in order to start uh, PLC programming on your own machine without the requirements of expensive hardware. So the tools that I'm talking about are RSLogix 500 Lite, RSLogix 500 Emulate as well as RSLynx. So pretty much the entire kit that you might need in order to program within your own machine and get started with some of the instructions that I've been teaching in my previous videos. Without any further delay, let's look right into this. All right, so as you can see, I am currently on the Rockwell Automation Compatibility website, and you can access this website by going to this address, which is essentially HTTPS, I'll call in, uh, slash slash compatibility .rockwell -automation .com, and this will bring up this uh, very nice interface through which you can search for different software packages. Now that being said, a lot of these software packages are going to require a license, but there are a few exceptions such as firmware and some of the legacy tools. So in our case, we're going to start looking for RSLogix. However, uh, the common mistake is to type in RSLogix 500, which is a paid uh, and licensed software tool. Therefore, we do need to go back and um, essentially type in micro, so RSLogix micro. And on top of that, the, RS, the normal download for RSLogix micro is also a paid tool. So what you need to find is this RSLogix micro starter light. So you can you can type that in if you start typing starter you will get the right results That being said we are going to have a couple of options and we are go going to go for the English software So that's going to be uh, labeled as uh, RSLogix micro starter light without RS links English 8.3 we're going to select that option and it should bring us to the next page in which all the download under that uh, Search query are listed and of course in this case, it's going to be only uh, a single tool So once it appears you will see uh, two different buttons So add to download cart and download if you add to the download cart, you're only going to get the uh, micro starter light, but you're not going to get the other packages that I've mentioned, which are the emulate as well as RS links. So what you need to do is hit the download button instead. And this should bring out the menu of all the different versions of that particular tool. And here, what you will find is that uh, at the very top level, you only have version 16. And version 16 is essentially just the firmware for that particular brand of PLC. So this is going to be your Micrologix uh, PLC series. That being said, that's not what we're looking to download. And even if you were trying to download this, you will notice that it only gives you the option to get the firmware level. Now, since we're looking for the other three packages, what we need to do is first of all, we need to click on this plus button, which expands our selection. So once again, this uh, little plus right here on the left hand side of the menu. And this is going to show all the different uh, software packages available for us to download. And uh, I guess the other indicator is that here are the versions 11, 10, 9, and 8. These versions 16, 15, they're really just uh, firmware levels for that particular PLC. Now, once you find this 11 down here, you can click this download button, which is... Uh, signified by this uh, hard drive with an arrow key and if you click this button you will see that there's going to be a, a large option of different software packages and I've had them pre-selected from a previous trial but essentially what you need to get are the three tools that I mentioned at the beginning of this video so the first one being of course the RSLogix micro starter light without RS links this is the original software that we were looking for so this is going to be your RS links 500 package just as capable as the uh, the full version I believe there's a couple of limitations, but uh, you should be able to practice all of the instructions just like you would on a uh, regular PLC. The next thing you need to get is this uh, RSLogix emulate. So if you want to uh, essentially practice without a full blown PLC system, which could be expensive for a lot of uh, individuals out there, I highly recommend that you install RSLogix emulate. I use it myself also because you can very quickly prototype uh, and test the functionality of different instructions. So RSLogix Emulate 500 version 6.00. And uh, last but not least, RSLynx. So RSLynx, uh, very briefly, it's a networking tool from Rockwell Automation. It is used for all sorts of uh, needs, but essentially communicating to your PLC as well as emulate. So if you're planning to emulate, you do need RSLynx Classic as well. And once again, all three of these are free tools 
Uh, do note that you do have some restrictions on the classic light version uh, as opposed to the full version of RS Lynx uh, classic or even enterprise. So it will uh, be different than what you'd use probably in a production environment. That being said, we are going to select these three tools. We're going to hit this download three uh, tools button. And here we are, we have all the three tools um, download, uh, I guess, set up. And as you can see here in the comments, you will notice that there's going to be this free label. So all of these three tools are free. And if we hit this download now button, it will bring us to the next page, which in a pay tool is going to be your licensing. Uh, however, what you will see here is that you only get a prompt for a uh, confirmation of a download, but it's not requiring you to enter a key. So essentially you need a free account with Rockwell Automation and you should have this uh, regardless if you're going to download these tools or not. But uh, all you need to do is accept here. Uh, you don't need a license, like I said, so you're going to accept and this is going to bring you to the download page and you can choose one of the two methods of download, which is going to be either managed or direct. I recommend the managed route uh, because uh, essentially just as it mentions here, it's secure, it verifies the file integrity, but you can also go di uh, direct download if the Rockwell servers are having a hard time, it might be the right option for you. So that's how you download those three very, very critical packages to start uh, PLC programming. And if you have any questions, make sure to post them down below. I will make sure to reply them. Like I said, this method is a little bit tricky, but it does get you all the software packages for absolutely free. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.